and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 3. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and let's get moving, because we've got more to do. Specifically, we need to head over north of Boot Hill, close to the Gemstone Cave. We need to get to those islands way out yonder, and the big deal about that is, is we don't have easy means to do it, so... There's not a direct path really there, so we got to somewhat kind of navigate to our way there. Easiest route I'm thinking for where we from where we are is really. Can we just keep going this way? I think we can. I know some of you have been like, you know, there's sandcraft battles, right? Yeah, I know there are. I just don't care that much to do them right now. There will be a time and a place for all of that stuff, guys. Trust me. Now, if we go here... Boom shakalaka. Ruins of dreams. So, yeah, it's not hard to find. You're just really looking for a location that looks correct. So, this is where Claff first came in contact with the device. Hmm. Clav? Oh, forgive me. I was lost in my thoughts for a moment, but I'm all right now. <laughs> Are you sure? Thank you. I, I am fine. This ruin has long been abandoned, but the security mechanism may still be active. We must take precaution. So we know that this is where bad things have happened. Really quick. That's we can use the radical sneakers to jump up yonder here. Hence why the radical sneakers are radical, dude. As we get a duplicator, so a lucky card, which is good because I think we were starting to run a little bit low on the lucky cards. Right? What are we? No, 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 no. I'm thinking of a different game. <laughs> What other game could I be playing while recording this one? Well, you'd have to check out my live stream at, at, uh, at twitch.tv slash jacktardstudios to find that out. Alright. So we've cleared out these two rooms, which are really just treasure rooms. Hence why it's so neat to get your ass on up there and get them. Right, open says me. Head through. And we'll head down. Again, you don't ever want to avoid every battle. So. Zyboos! You know what? Because we were actually not hurting for gems. Let's just play around with that. And we'll move these battles along. At this point, now that I've been thinking about it, now that we've upgraded Jet a little bit more, a thousand Gela is not even two thousand Gela is not that big of a deal to me anymore, really. I mean, it is and it isn't. You know, we can grind cash if we need to later, but I, I don't really see the benefit of worrying about it right now. Boom! Shagalaga. Uh, best. Good job, bestest bro. For nice. And since they're weak to ice, we can mystic and ice. Oh, we can mystic and uh, ice gem if we need to. Do do do. This planet will transform. I've deciphered the words of Siegfried. It is planetary recreation. I believe the planet is not evolving, but transubstantiating its very existence. You mean for guys changing into something else? Is that possible? Starting with the Yggdrasil system, the endless environmental rejuvenation this planet has undergone is actually, in a broad sense, planetary recreation. And this place here was one of those environmental facilities designed to rejuvenate Felgeir. 
just like Yggdrasil. Much smaller in terms of scale or level, this place is where the impossible dream of rejuvenated and fell guy are still sleeps. Let's <laughs> press on further. Press on further, indeed. Oh, get in there. Well, that doesn't look friendly at all. Now, if you look carefully, you'll actually see something down there. It's tricky if you're not paying close attention. There we go. It is tricky under those under those conditions. See here. And now we have access. Okay, so the chest counts as open. We just can't take it with us. Um, dang, ding, dong, darn. I'll deal with it later. Just to be on the safe side, I kind of want to get in a fight and use the potion berry just to make sure. So let's do... Kill any of them. It's Gatling you and then let everybody else gang up on that one. There we go. Let's keep moving. Open says me. This facility incubated a machine designed to control the planetary environment. You mean that big thing? You are half correct. It is a mo it's, it is a molecular it is a molecule sized machine created from this big planet. It's called the nano machine. The nano machine? Could that be? Yes. It's believed to have the same properties as the nano machine that was injected into your body. As a matter of fact, I did not know about the existence of this nano machine until I met your father. To this day, I still do not have a full understanding of it. Well, this nano machine is meant to control the environment of Felgaia, right? What does this one have to do with the one that affected my body? If the planet is likened to a single form of life, then there are parts that make up the living organism, though the scale may be small. Daddy! Is my theory... 
is my theory a little out of the ordinary? I think you have I think you have an open minded way of thinking. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's a pleasant theory. In other words, nanomachines embedded within the body are programmed to rewrite the structure of living organisms. Everything would be okay if this is promoting the rejuvenation of the environment, but an unseen enemy is misusing the lost technology. It is believed that this enemy is using the nanomachine to devour and destroy the environment and to change it into something completely different. It is like a cancer of the planet, where the cancer cell is actually the cell of demons. So the life force is being wiped out by the demon cells, which means... Genus Cascade! And the Three Prophets. Yes, we are witnessing the destruction of life force by the hands of the demons. This planet will transform. Perhaps this means that the planet is being demonized. A birth of a colossal demon on a planetary level. A demonized planet fell Gaia. We can't let this happen. We have to stop the blue menace that the Guardians warned us about or else we'll lose everything. Even Shane dreamt about this too. My professor lies buried just up ahead. Would you mind coming along? I would like to go pay my respects. It looks like Werner is going with us. Not actually made clear whether that's the case or not, but mm. okay, that's the way we came. Here we go. And what to my wonder it could be, but a bunch of mimics who will die murderously. But I think he's slightly different. Um. I believe he is a stronger version, but he'll die just the same. And since we actually have a lot, well, we have a good amount of Gala cards. And I know we're going to get some more soon. I'm thinking about using one, but you know what? Let's refrain. Let's just put this guy in the Hurt Locker first. Or no, never mind. He's a regular one. For some reason, I, I'm getting... I thought there was the Mimic, then the Imitator, then... I'm thinking of a different Wild Arms game. We get another amulet, which is good. And a mini carrot, sweet. Not that we use mini carrots all that much, um, now that we have access to the full carrot, but it's nice to have them, you know. Knock it out. Make it easier to complete the, the task for that. Gimmel coin. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Through the door. Uh -oh. Mother. It's kind of obvious what one must do. Son of a bitch. Ah. There we go. As I still fall off, but we know what to do. Oh, it won't matter because it's already lit up. Um. Dang it. You know what, just out of curiosity, I oh, know we can't handle them all anyway. Screw that Gatling.
Get some sucker. Okay, well, shoot. Nice. Now we just finish the last one off. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot to do something. The nanomachine technology is also the wisdom of Hades. By possessing the micro machine tech colony, micro machines. The bodily structure of the organism can be rewritten on a cellular level. Considering the infinite cell count of humans, this would be a bad ideal system. But this is precisely why there is some doubt. I'm sorry, I'm not using his voice. There is no trace of the demons using nanomachines on any organisms of this planet. Then why did the demons fabricate nanomachines into something so highly advanced and sophisticated? I think I've gone off on a tangent. Hades is a fountain of lost technology. The Council of Seven did their best to try and solve its mystery. This plant here is one of the lab facilities that pre the previous Council left behind generations ago. This was considered to be one of the lab facilities, even with its size. The recreation of the planetary environment requires massive amounts of energy. The standards of this facility most likely could not supply the required amount. The fact is, the Idrisol system and most of its functions are devoted to producing and amplifying energy. What if, for example, we operate this generator beyond its maximum capacity? It would cause the system to go haywire, just like Idrisil. So the Idrisil accident was caused by the generator malfunctioning. Hmm. Accident? Not really. The Yggdrasil system's malfunction was a direct result of Durin, the control administrator who pushed the system well beyond its limits. No, he just inputted the wrong digits. No, that's not what happened. It was inside Yggdrasil's archive data. The Yggdrasil system was secretly pre-programmed to go haywire. None of the council members knew about it. The program was hidden. It wasn't a mistake. Durin was laughing at the time. But why? For what reason? So you were searching for the truth, Daddy. I could easily carry on as if it were an accident, but I am one of the very people responsible for the Yggdrasil tragedy. I must atone for my sins. The bear came out of the woods today. Yeah, I kind of screwed this up, but hopefully we have a pretty good run here. Which is maybe not going to work out the way I want it to. But we're, we're going to do what we can. This boss can instant death the entire party. And I didn't I didn't plan for it very well. Uh, which is totally my fault. So hopefully... I can not maybe super screw this up further than I already did. Full carrot. Virginia. And he's got good XP and good Gela, so... That's why it's kind of... I probably should have thrown at least amulets on people so they could, so somebody could stay in a guarded position to revive the group in case he gets away with bloody murder. And you know when he's going to do it. He gives you a warning, by the way. So that's kind of the point. Oh, hmm. I guess we could equip it now, maybe. Um, if I'm gonna do it, let's do. Well, let me make sure. Who has what here? Anybody have anything against instant death? Not really. With that said, I know. With that said, I know everybody else doesn't either. Um, gallows. Has SOS invisible. Clive's got pretty much nothing. Okay, so. 
for the sake of argument here, let's go with let's say lucky hand. We have three amulets, so somebody's going down. Um, we can't let Jet or Virginia go down, and definitely not Gallo. So Clive's going to be the unlucky candidate for the moment. Realistically, actually, what I really should do is just do two. Uh, Moonspark. And the reason I'm going to actually do it for Jet over Gallows is because he's faster. That has a big, big thing to do with it. Manual, status guard. Now, the status guard only works while you're guarding. So as good as that sounds, it's kind of meh in the grand scheme of things. Um, jet, status guard. But you'll see what I mean when, when the time actually comes for it. So we'll leave Virginia always in a guarded state, I think is best. All the other characters kind of do their thing. So next round, he's going to do it. So unless we kill him this round, we'll have Jet and Virginia guard and then do what recovery needs to be done next round here. Or oh, never mind, he's just going to kill me right now. So he killed everybody but Jet. Hence why we did what we did. Um, revive fruit for Virginia. Then what the idea of the plan is, is to full carrot Virginia while she heals herself. And then we could have her revive everyone else in the party here that's knocked over. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's do a mini carrot. Let me just do that. He's not going to kill anybody on his own. We just need to be weary of the stench of death. We need to be more attentive to it. Okay. Uh, have her reload. Revive. Yeah, have him use a full carrot. Have him use a mini carrot on himself. Ah, crap baskets. Well, she's defending. Defend. Waste of a turn and a mini carrot. <laughs> this battle's rough, I know. Gallus goes down. Yep. Hence why I needed to put that on. Uh, let's Mystic our revive fruit this time. And then use. Let's just use a full carrot on Gallows. You might actually understand why I'm trying to get some FP on Gallows so we can get Valiant on Virginia. If you must know. Defend. Oh well. We could die in this fight just because of bullshit. No, we're gonna be alright. Virginia will end this fight next round. 
most likely to be safe. Guard. Yeah, good thing. Fucking kill that motherfucker. Got him. Woo! That is a rough fight, my friends. That is a rough fight indeed. We'll take whatever we can get from it. Which everybody gets a little something. And we could do awesome Holy Grail. So we get 20 grand for every character and 2400. Not bad. But as you can see, that is definitely not a fun fight. Must have been a mon must have been a monster who made the abandoned laboratory its home. I think I just heard someone laughing. You think so? It's kind of a weird thing to take notice of. All right. So we have a couple different ways to go here, and I want to say not much of a position to really fight anything. No, we can't. Oh no! Wait! No! 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 That's where I want to go. Son of a nutless goat. Mystic Ice Gem. Ooh. Hopefully they don't all do that. Now, I might have screwed up the fight, but let's just do it anyway. Yeah. We get four ice jams. Virginia is the only one that gets XP from that, but I really don't care. But it gives me an excuse to use some potion berries here. Yeah, we've been storing up on our grab bags. We haven't used a single one yet, and there's a good reason we haven't used one yet. So just sit back and relax, and you'll figure out why later. There's a good reason to really find out who would benefit from the those grab bags the most. This is the last place I visited with my professor when I was fledge when I was a fledging arch archaeologist and also the place where my professor gave me an important assignment I must complete it was just as you advocated professor the cause of Felgaia's decay lied not lies not in the ancient past but in recent years but it may still be quite difficult to create a future for this planet so please give me a little more time thank you let us return who knows when this place may collapse. I leave the rest in your hands, young one. Thank you, Burlitz. The more you know, the more you know. There is not enough power in the generator for the nanomachines to erode Felgaia and bring... And to bring about terraforming. If only we had the generator like Yggdrasil, we wouldn't be held up by such trifling matters. Who could have removed the core generator from the Yggdrasil system? Yggdrasil's generator output possesses great power, enough to regulate the entire planet. In order to control this tremendous output, one needs to be endowed with the wisdom of Hades, like us. Could it be Werner's doing, or was there another survivor besides Werner and us from that tragic accident? Dealing with uncertain factors go hand in hand with executing a plan. In the current situation, if the current situation is displeasing, you must overcome the problem. I have given you the power to do just that. I understand, sire. But what does it mean? That's the real question. What does it mean? I, too, am in search for finding the cause of Felgaier's decay. 
not the actual source of the decay, but clues leading up to the accident, or rather, the incident. I linger here full of regret, investigating every phenomenon, leaving no stone unturned. Yes, now I know, Daddy. You left Mom and I so that you can fight for the sake of Felgeir. I did it because I... Because you didn't want us to worry. Don't be so selfish. Sometimes Mom's favorite flowers were placed in front of her grave. That was you, wasn't it, Daddy? Those flowers gave me hope that maybe someday you might return. I would have been much better off if I had given up on you. I'm sorry, Virginia. Are you leaving by yourself again? We're all striving for the same goal. We all want a brighter future for this planet, right? So... I just want to atone for my sins. That's all. Daddy! If the hypothesis about Lee Holt using nanomachines is demonized Phil Guy to demonize Phil Geyer's true, he would most likely go after the great generator and try to gather massive amounts of energy. Philadelphia. There, you may find what they're after. Philadelphia? I do not deserve to see the future with all of you. It is you who must blaze a trail to Felgeir's future. Daddy, why won't you let me be with you? I wonder what Philadelphia actually means. That name does ring a bell. I remember it from a documentary records. The aerial city of Philadelphia was a floating city of the Neo Sapiens. A floating city? Where? You can't see it. Actually, I don't mean to get your hopes up, but according to the records, Philadelphia fell from the sky long ago. It is difficult to fathom how a city as big could float in the sky, and for what purpose. Oh well, at least we know where to head next. Okay, everyone, let's gear up for Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia, right? Please don't feel obligated. I'm sure you would rather go find your father. Don't worry about me. I want to do this. Very well. Can I ask you something? Why is it so difficult to express your feelings in words? Your heart may mean one thing, but it comes out the opposite when you say it. Words do not express feeling. Feeling is expressed from the heart. And I strongly believe that feelings can be shared without words. Come on, everyone. Let's run. I don't know where this Philadelphia fell, but it has to have left a big mark somewhere. I mean, it being a big city and all. Let's go find it. Come on, let's run. Let's track them down. And also, let's get to it. <laughs> Um, so pretty much that's the only information we have now what we do know is there are a couple craters like uh, areas Yggdrasil is one there's it's kind of like a crater but it's not really gonna count but but if we think about it where survey point 17 is there's actually one not too far from there um, but first things foist foist things foist we're gonna go ahead and go back to Jolly Roger and heal, because we're we're we were hurting a little bit there in the in, in that back end of that dungeon. So, healing's probably a good idea. So yeah, all that good stuff. And we don't have enough to level up any major weaponry, but we could max out. I just want to check something here. I want to see if we can finish off Virginia's. She's got only two levels left and they're all in bullets. There we go. 
So Virginia can't take on any more upgrades. Which is good. That means we don't have to fiddle around with her anymore. So really now all that's left is, is just working on Clive and, and Jet for that for, for what it's worth. So we'll stay. head out and out here so there's really not much else to do at this exact moment we kind of burned through most of our cash leveling up uh, Virginia's weapon um, again most of the money's just going towards leveling up Jet and Clive's weaponry now uh, you notice we've never really invested much in gallows we've done a little bit I think but nothing I don't think anything really significant um, pretty sure we haven't done anything significant with him. Yeah, not really. And we don't really want to. So we just really want to focus on Clive and, and Jet from here on out with the damage output. Um. So, yeah. I think everything else is pretty good right now. So, anywho. Yeah. On the, this is a good place for us to stop for right now. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I am your host, the RPG guy. When we come back, we look for the lost city of the past, Philadelphia, where we are going to maybe hopefully get even more answers to some of the questions that we have. And who knows? We might find a few other things of great value. It's hard to say, but there's a lot to say about what's coming up next. So thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jacktartstudios for more JRPG action that you know you don't want to miss out on and all that other good stuff because, yeah, pretty soon, maybe not in the next episode or two or even three, but we're actually going to start getting into some interesting stuff towards the back end of this game, and you're not going to want to miss that, and you're not going to want to miss all the buildup towards it. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you next time.